Former 90 Day Fiancé star Natalie Mordetseva has recently shared a happy update about her godmother, who was in Ukraine amid the ongoing conflict. Fans may remember the 37-year-old reality star from her appearance on 90 Day Fiancé Season 7 with Mike Youngquist. During the season, Natalie got married to Mike, but she left him in December 2020 and moved to Florida. She has started dating but has yet to find a perfect match. Some rumors suggest that Natalie has been filming for 90 Day. The single live season 3, in which she might appear with her modeling agency CEO named Josh. While Natalie is living a comfortable life in the United States, she is concerned about some of her close family members who are in Ukraine. After Russia invaded Ukraine, she shared an update about her mother, Nelia. In early March 2022, Natalie confirmed that her mother left Ukraine for another county in Europe with other family members and was safe. While Natalie had mostly stayed quiet about the ongoing conflict on her social media, the first time she truly addressed it was when she confirmed her mother was out of danger. Point 90 day fiancé cast member Natalie has now updated her fans about her godmother, who was previously in Ukraine. She shared an Instagram story about her godmom and shared an update about her well-being. She posted a happy picture of her godmother and wrote, Today is a blessed day. Natalie that her godmother has successfully crossed the Poland-Ukraine border. She revealed that her godmother was able to travel out of the danger zone into Poland and is safe now too. Natalie then shared a sad emoji and talked about how it is hard for her to believe her home is gone. She also sympathized with other Ukrainians who lost their properties due to the conflict. Many 90 Day Fiancé fans have noticed a stark difference between Ukrainian reality stars Yora Zayu and Natalie's reactions to the war lately. While the aspiring actress and model has been mostly silent, Myla's mother has been trying to spread awareness about the conflict and help Ukrainian refugees. Yara has also been showing her concern publicly and joining social activities to help support her message. 90 Day Fiancé viewers were a bit disappointed in Natalie's overall approach, but maybe now they understand her mince it better. She may not have expressed her opinions on social media as strongly as other stars, but she is equally concerned about her family in Ukraine. Since everyone grieves differently, maybe remaining silent was Natalie's way of dealing with the conflict. As the issue is much bigger than anyone can comprehend, blaming a reality star for not talking about it or sharing her fears and thoughts online is not right. In any case, it is good news that Natalie's close relatives are now safe and sound and can continue their lives away from the land they once called home. 90 Day Fiancé fans hope that Natalie's mind will be at a little ease after this. Just to chill.